Hello there, friends, and welcome to another beautiful day here on the island of Larkshire. We are here outside with our net during cherry blossom season, looking for some cherry blossoms to catch, and hopefully a few recipes to go with them. But Isabel told us this morning that we have a visitor. Oh, I saw a cherry blossom. Got it. <laughs> Isabel told us that we have a visitor staying in the campsite. Oh no. Well, that's a way to start the day. Okay, well, luckily we have some other nets around. Actually, I have another one in my pocket right here, so we're just gonna drop that and pick it back up. Okay, because <laughs> I do that because it puts it back into your tool ring that way without you having to go assign it and all that stuff. Okay, so let's find out who's here. Oh, it's static. Look at you, you cutie. <laughs> you live on this island, right? I'm just making myself at home. I'm in camping mode, soaking up the scenery and looking forward to hanging out. Oh, he's such a cutie. Look at you and you're purple too. This is purple day. We're wearing purple, you're purple. Hey, how about we play a game? If you win, I'll give you my tea and towel. Sounds like fun. Great, but before we start, I should explain the rules. I already know them. Okay then, we can just jump right on in. I'll shuffle the cards like so. So which color do you think it is? Red or black? I think it's red and it's always the opposite of what I think, so we're going black. <laughs> and the card is... Oh, it was red. Darn it. <laughs> you didn't guess right. That's okay, I wasn't really in the market for a tea and towel anyway. Don't let it get you down. There will be other chances for you to win. Static, you're so cute. I wish we... I wish we had a spot on the island. I wish... Hmm. Guys, can we just talk about plans that go totally off the rails? We're supposed to be saving our last two plots for Grizzly and Midge, and and we already gave one to Punchy. <laughs> we have one plot left. Oh, should we take Static? Should we move that little purple guy in here? That cranky little purple guy? Do we have a cranky villager right now? We don't, do we? Wait, yeah, Hans is smug. Goose is a jock. Lucky is lazy. Punchy is lazy. We do not have a cranky villager. You guys. <laughs> Totally off the rails. I think we're gonna... I think I have never had static before. And he's purple, which is strongly in his favor. All right. I think that we're probably going to place our last plot today and invite static. I don't know why I'm hitting this rock. I don't need any of this. I just got distracted because I was trying to make a decision. Okay, I'm still trying to make a decision. Lucky's home. Let's see what Lucky says. Making me a music stand. Cool. That's a fun item. We need it. I bet you could do it in no time, bruh. <laughs> What's new, bruh? What's the latest, Lucky? You look good wearing anything at all, Wonder Bud. Here, you'll look real cool in a superhero mask. Will I now? Same color as your denim overalls. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. I hope I made you happy. Oh, you did, Lucky. You're such a sweetie. Okay, let's see. Yeah, not the same color <laughs> as the overalls, as predicted, but that's okay. Lucky's doing his best over there. Look at him. He's just working away. What a, what a cutie. Let me get the rest of this off the ground. I can't believe I hit that rock. I don't know why I did it. I think I still had like bunny day eggs in mind and we don't need those anymore. We have some random stuff laying out here because I don't know, I dropped it. Here's another net. <laughs> Look at that. Just get it kind of out of the way here. Okay, there we go. 
Um, I did get some more of these yellow hyacinth finally. I went to a Cap'n Island yesterday and they had them there and I got all the yellow ones and brought them back so I could finish up this little area in acre one. So really all that's left for acre one is figuring out the table situation for smacks. And I think we actually need to order another one of these chairs because I'm really loving the green chairs up here. So we need just some tables. <laughs> I don't know which ones to use. I've already been over to Paradise Planning today and there was nothing that we, that we could afford. Let's put it that way. There was one thing I would have bought if we could afford it, but it wasn't anything like super spectacular. What was super spectacular was the item that was there yesterday that I totally meant to go back and do a house so that I could buy it, which was the covered counter. And I totally forgot about doing that. And so we have no covered counter, which is very, very sad. Goose, what are you up to today? Patrolling Larkshire. Very good. We appreciate your efforts. Keeping it safe around here, even though apparently I'm a superhero. <laughs> I, I am to Lucky, and that's all that matters. Okay, I'm actually going to chop this. Oh, see, my axes are in the wrong spots. They're backwards. I'm going to chop this down. Because if we keep leaving the money trees, then we end up with so many trees, and we don't need that many. But I haven't found the bottle on the beach yet. Here it is. We got a new recipe from the bottle on the beach at Paradise Planning, which I'll show you in a second, because do I remember what it is right off the top of my head, even though it was only like 7.3 minutes ago? No, I do not. Okay, <laughs> so let's take a look. Um, oh yeah, it was the log bed. And then Lucky gave us the music stand and we just got the stone lion dog, which is a really cool item too. Maybe we could use some of those up on our bridge because I still haven't figured out what to do with our bridge up there. You know what? Maybe this needs to go behind it. Maybe we need some of these. I don't know. I think I need this little gyroid though. I haven't been in Nooks today yet either. Mary, what's up? Are you checking out the gyroids too? Don't you love being outside when the weather's like this? We need to have a picnic. I need to build a picnic somewhere, don't I? We haven't got a space for a picnic yet. What are your thoughts on those little toys that come inside snack and candy packages? I think they're like, whatever. Except that's a lie. They're collectibles and I need to have every last one of them. The other day, the other day I opened up a box of crackers and found a miniature snowboarding rule book. Have I read it? Obviously not. If I break the vacuum seal, the book loses all its value. Plus, I don't do snowboarding. I don't blame you. I, I have not tried snowboarding, but I tried skiing once and yeah, that didn't end well. Let's see what's in Nooks. Welcome to Nooks Cranny. Oh, we absolutely need the little afternoon tea situation. Yes, we will buy it. I don't know where we're going to use it yet. Maybe for a picnic. We need to build Mary a picnic. Maybe when we get to her acre, we can make her a picnic if we remember and if it fits with whatever else we get assigned. Let's see. Oh, we have a Gulliver item too. He brought us an elder mask. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> I was really hoping for Stonehenge, but that it just seems like forever before you get that one. Okay, we do, however, have a genuine piece of art to donate at some point along with this blue bottle, is that it? Blue bottle butterfly that we caught and um, obviously some fossils. But I think we still have some more fossils to find today so we're not going to stop and do that yet. But let me show you what I've been doing up here because I did throw down a little bit of path up in Punchy's Acre because... I don't know. It just seemed like a good idea to get that part of the build out of the way. I finally made some of these things because we got the young spring bamboo, which we should harvest this bamboo today too. So here is the current bridge situation. You guys gave me a couple good suggestions for changing out the lighting here in the resting place, but I haven't gotten around to trying any of those yet. So we're still definitely working on Acre 4 because this bridge is part of Acre 4 too. And like, we just don't have 
something that goes here yet. Uh, we might have to make one of those stone lion dogs and see how big, but I don't know if that'll go. Uh, maybe those don't fit the peaceful vibe over here. So I took out the little flower patch things that we got from Nook Miles because one of the requirements for this acre was crafted items and it doesn't have to be all crafted items, but I don't know. I think we're gonna try to make it all crafted items just because that's how I am. Punchy! <laughs> Talk to us, friend. Hi, how you doing? We, we can't give Punchy gifts yet. Larkshire is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for a sea monster to attack. What else, Punchy? I haven't been paying attention. You, now you sound like me. Why am I so sleepy today? I wonder if it's because it's spring. Spring makes me real darn sleepy. And hungry. So does summer. And fall. Huh. And winter, too. Yeah, um, I think that's a you thing, not a season thing. Okay, so as you can see, I put the path in oop, almost all the way up to the edge of the acre because this little leaf was in the way. And look at me, guys, being prepared with, like, stuff to use in Punchy's acre. <laughs> I have things ready to go. Alright, so we did put the path just kind of down here in between the lake and the pond the lake the river the river is what I meant the river and the pond and I went ahead and threw down a few things like this little grill and some planking kind of like a little deck there for punchy to work off of because what I've decided here is that punchy's gonna have like a little he, he's gonna be the, the fishing teacher on the island he's gonna teach everybody how to do the fishing and you know since he's right here with the pond and the river it just makes sense and he's a cat he knows a thing or two about fish probably and he's gonna have a little shop back here with snacks and like fishing type stuff so we're gonna build that today and I think we're gonna have a gyroid run it because Punchy's gonna be up here and he's gonna be busy teaching the fishing to people and or taking naps waiting for people to want to learn how to fish I think that's gonna be more like it but I do have a few items to set things up over here so this is like there's a this little grilling area is for the Friday fish and chips days I don't really know how you make fish and chips on a grill, but um, that's an actual meal that we can make. So I don't know. We might f <laughs> we might find some other fish dishes we can make. Maybe we can turn it into a Friday fish fry or something. Anyway, I want to move this tree. And I think I don't have any more cherries in my pocket. I do not. But this little gyroid here is going to be the cashier for Punchy's little shop. I decided. <laughs> Look at him. So cute. We need to grab... Now I forgot what we need to grab. Let's check in with Francine while I try to remember. Francine, lifting some weights over here. Wonderbud, how lovely of you to stop by. When my creative juices are running dry, it's rare, but it happens. I like to teach myself a new skill. I'm currently breezing through a crystal decoration course. You should see what I did to my rubber band. It was too beautiful for this world, in a way. <laughs> the stones I used were so large that they threw it out of true. I thought I'd mastered the balance between form and function, but it seems I have lessons to learn yet. Alright, well, good for you for giving it a try, Francine. Ooh, okay, so I think maybe I was thinking about building a stall because I did want to build a stall for Punchy's area up there. I don't know 100% we're going to use it because he does have a couple other tables up there that might work just as well. But here we go. Ooh, that's going to take up 12 of our 14 wood too. Okay, we want to customize it. I probably should have looked up some kind of custom pattern with little fishes on it or something. 
Ooh, the yellow's fun. His house is like a cream color, though. Would the yellow look kind of weird with that? I don't know. We're going to try it. Okay, that's kind of fun. If we can't find something with fishes, maybe we can put something with snacks on it <laughs> or something. Let's see. Pizza. He's not going to have pizza. We could do donuts, but eh, it's not like about donuts, though. Let's see. His house is like a cream color. I can't remember the color of the door. I'm so observant. All right, we're going to wait on the customization, I think. We can at least get it in place. Oh, we were, we were going to get a cherry. Actually, you know what? Here's a tomato. Let's just grab that. We need something so we can move this tree. Because I got this cute um, wooden field sign there with the, with the orange ad on it. And I don't want to move it. <laughs> so we're going to move this tree over so we can put some store shelves there. Just move his little pretend bush over here too. Oops. Can't push it when it's that far back. Okay, nope. I think I liked it where, where it was. Even though it's blocking that field sign a little bit. Punchy, what are you doing? Okay, we gotta eat this tomato. And get this tree moved. We're just gonna move it over. <laughs> Okay, I literally always dig in the wrong spot. I was trying to play some mini games on New Leaf earlier and all you had to do was hit the rocks and I kept just digging a hole next to them. Like literally standing in front of a rock and can't hit it. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Anywho, all right, we have some store shelves here. Um, does that look like some chips and cans of nuts or something that Punchy would be selling maybe. So I have a couple more of those store shelves and we're going to customize them so that they're all different because he wouldn't be selling three shelves worth of the same snacks, obviously. So we took the one that was next to Nook's because we're just not going to use it next to Nook's and it's over here somewhere. There it is, of course, the very last one we looked at. And I ordered two more, so I do have two more in my pocket. We're gonna go customize those. There's probably gonna be a lot of back and forth between this. Oh, you know what? We have that magic ability of picking these up that I always forget about. So why don't we do that so there's not so much running back and forth. Genius idea. Let's see. <laughs> Excuse us, punchy. We're actually just going to... We'll set them right here. So they're out of the way of the acre. But we can still get to them. Okay, so let's customize these store shelves. I guess it's kind of still a little ways to run, but we don't have to go down the stairs and everything. Okay, definitely popcorn and like brownies and that kind of stuff he would totally have. And then for the other one, that one looks mostly like cereal and tea and stuff. Pancake mix. I guess we'll go with this one. done for now okay so let's get these put down little store shelves see then punchy can eat all the stuff that doesn't sell <laughs> and sell all the stuff that he doesn't eat so there's that um, let's see I kind of want to put this Oh, you can get through this way. I don't know why we just jumped. Look at you. Look at him with his little snack. He's just so cute. Somebody's been in the donuts. Don't look at me, Punchy. <laughs> Lucky gave me this mask. I'm wearing it out of friendship. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, what else? We you know, I don't think that we have the little 
tackle box thing yet, which I really kind of wanted because I feel like the tackle box would be Punchy's cash register. Like, he's not trying to, you know, run an iPad or anything. He's just like, yeah, I have this tackle box and you give me your coins and I put them in here and then maybe I give you some back if I owe you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's, so that's what I want for his register. He's going to have a tackle box over here. I mean, it's fitting too because he's the fishing guy and he would just, he would use a tackle box like that, wouldn't he? Um, but I also want some of the fishing items to go in his shop, and thankfully we have a fishing tourney coming up in a couple days. Don't go in the water, okay. So we'll be able to get like the fishing rod stand and some of the other fishy stuff for him to sell in his shop. An enamel lamp, is that one of the hanging from the ceiling ones? Let's see, afternoon tea set. We bought it at Nooks. Safety barrier, we bought it at Nooks. Oh, the Ammonite. Okay, we were gonna try the Ammonite over on this bridge. It's probably, it's not, it's not gonna be tall enough. Yeah, if the, uh, <laughs> if the Cypress wasn't tall enough, that's definitely not tall enough. It's, it's not a very good color for this area either. But the Ruined Arch, that we might be able to do something with. I don't know if it's going to match the vibe of this area either, but we're going to try it. We want to customize it though. To something a little brighter. Maybe not full on white, but I think the ivory would be pretty. Let's go look. We'll take this out. Take these out. We're gonna run out of pocket space here in like one second. And put this in here. I don't know. I don't know if that's the vibe. Let's see what it looks like from down here. And remembering that these trees are gonna be green. I don't know, that does look kind of cool actually. I kind of like it. I kind of do like it. Here's a cherry blossom. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> and that's what happens to 90% of the cherry blossoms that I see. Okay, also I put in another tree right here at the entrance to the resting place because it felt like super open over here and I wanted it to be a little more like, I don't know, blocked from the road, you know what I mean? I almost put a tree here, but that was like, it was not enough. It needed to be right there at the, at the entrance. So I let it get this big. I think I'm gonna let it go one bigger. I think I'm gonna let it go one bigger. So yeah, we're working on lots of little spaces all at once. Just trying to figure this out. I'm gonna put this balloon back here, even though I, I don't know what we're doing with these yet. We're just, we're just trying stuff. We're throwing stuff down. We're trying it out. Seeing what we think, how we feel about it. Uh, see, to me, those balloons and that arch just do not go together, but maybe it's the color. One of you did suggest that I should change the color of the glowing moss balloons and that might help. So we'll, we might try that a little later on. I don't know if we went like with the white or maybe the the bright green to match the leaves or something but the pink is pretty like in your face and that might have been part of the problem okay so what else do we have for punchy here we're gonna have to set some more of this stuff down because we got a whole bunch of stuff over here so let me just actually i guess we can just put it away Okay, and I just got reminded of a couple other things that are in my pocket, like these awesome worn out jeans that we found in the recycle bin. And uh, I do still have the tie-dye shirt, so I need to go and tally up who gets the tie-dye shirt because we can deliver that today. All right, guys, I just went and counted the votes. And I also just remembered that um, I got this net and customized it to this color for Punchy's area here. 
because, you know, you can use a net for fishing too. Maybe not in this game, but in real life, we're going to pretend that that's for catching fishes in the pond and stuff. All right, so we're going to pick up the yellow star on our way to give the tie-dye shirt to the winner, which you guys chose by quite a margin, won this one. And it's because this shirt is literally all the same colors that she is. <laughs> I think it matched her so well. All right, where did that go? Uh, but yeah, Caroline is the winner of the shirt this week. Tie-dye girl. But yeah, it has the red, just like her, her fur. It has, oh, she's not home either. <laughs> it has the yellow, just like her hair. It has the blue, just like her eyes. And it has the green, just like her eyeshadow. So it totally matches Caroline 100%. So I think you guys chose very well. Oh, I wish I was better at catching those. <laughs> and they seem so rare. I think maybe they get more frequent um, as we get closer to the end of cherry blossom season. But right now it's like I see very few and I catch like maybe one out of ten of them which is pretty sad <laughs> pretty sad all right well where in the world is caroline before we <laughs> before we continue on punchy's little shop we need to find caroline Okay, you guys knew this is where I was going to find her, right? We have the most museum visiting villagers of all time. <laughs> Caroline, how could something as big as this Quetzal yeah, thing ever stay in the air? I don't know, but um, everyone wants you to have this. <laughs> we have a thing for you, a matchy matchy thing for you. You want it? By vote. You're really giving me a tie-dye shirt? Yes, I am. Thanks. Wow, I look great. Yes, you do. <laughs> she really does. I mean, that it suits her. It suits her very well. All right. What else are you doing down here? Everything okay? How much fish and chips do you think things like this could put away? I'm glad I didn't ever have to host them for a dinner party. Funny you should mention fish and chips. <laughs> okay, see you later, Caroline. All right, so what else do we have here? We have a wooden stool. We have a mug. We have some log stakes, a wild log bench. Oh, tree branch wreath, which I need to give to Punchy as soon as we can give him stuff. I thought that would be cute on his door. We've got a little garden table here, a garden faucet tape deck. I thought it'd be fun. He would totally have music out, I feel like. So I, we really don't have like a ton of stuff that is like stuff he would be selling in a fish store. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to make it up maybe until we get to the fishing tourney. But yeah, people can come right up here, buy their snacks and their bait and tackle or whatever it is you sell. <laughs> their new fishing rods. I did decide to keep that festival balloon back here because I think that's cute for Punchy's little area. And you know, it's good for a store. You see those sometimes stores with little balloons outside. So we're actually going to put this little gyroid here, here. Oops, not there. <laughs> we want you on the stool, friend. You gotta be running this show. Okay, turn around. Yeah, so we'll find something to put up here, like... I don't know, something. Oh, didn't we have a little snack? Did I pick it up? I might have picked it up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and look. So I can put it down if I have it. Oh, maybe we'll have the, uh, the tape deck here then. That's a good idea. We can play... How about KK Country? Is it just me or does that seem like a punchy kind of tune? <laughs> I think he would totally have that good one. So yeah, it's just gonna be in the grass. Nothing fancy. It's just Punchy the lazy cat we're talking about here. That 
can't go further back that way. I mean, we're gonna put it on this side. We can get rid of some of these pansies too, but I'm not, I'm not in a hurry to get rid of them. Cause again, this is Punchy we're talking about. I don't think he does a lot of yard work. We're just, uh, we're just out here hanging out with the stuff. We might need to get a fishing rod or two. Let's see, garden table. We could put a garden table over here. Maybe we can put some kind of something on the ground here. I really cannot believe <laughs> like how much of the design space I already have taken up. It's crazy. All right, we're just gonna have that, I think. And we're gonna put this garden table over here. We might dot a few weeds in here too, I think. And somewhere we have a garden chair, which is not the same color. But it's totally gonna work for this situation. We'll put a mug, because it seems like, you know, you would sit out here early in the morning with your fishing rod in the water and you're just over here enjoying your cup of coffee. I didn't know what color that mug was, but you know what? It's very colorful over here and I kind of I kind of like that. So what else did we have? A tin bucket. Okay, we can put that over here by the pond. No room. What? <laughs> what? I'm going to put it more like here. I kind of want this side of the store to be blocked so you can't get through here. It's, it's not meant to be getting through here, but I ran out of fence. Which, by the way, <laughs> I also realized that like I crafted some simple fence to put down there. And uh, we have like 70 miles worth of simple fence on the beach that I could have just picked up and recolored. But no, I did it the hard way. Because did I remember that? No. <laughs> I'm gonna put another one of those right there. And we have some cool little grass standees that I made because that seems like a punchy kind of thing too. I like using the grass standees and the little fake bushes and stuff for my lazy villagers because it just feels like, you know. Oh, there's the snack. All right, well now that we put something else where I was gonna put it, but I think we needed it there. So we'll put, not the snack, <laughs> the grass standy. Push that back a little and maybe over to the side here. Just to fill in this spot, we'll put another one back here. And then I think I have one more in storage that needs to be recolored. So we'll get that out at some point too. Maybe we'll have the snack sitting right here. Like somebody just started eating it and then left it behind. What else do we have? A wild log bench, okay, and some log stakes. I only made one of the log stakes because I wasn't sure. Wood plank table, oh, I know what that is, okay. So that could be over here in the shop to have stuff put on it. Um, so yeah, we have definitely some table space here for whatever Punchy's going to be selling once we do the fishing tourney. And I think we will take out this pansy. And put something here. The sloppy table. Hmm. Does the garden faucet make sense here? Whoops. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But it's blocking it for right now and until we get something else that does make sense. But I think we're doing pretty good on Punchy's little spot here. We just gotta give him that wreath. Uh, I got the shuffler out but I don't think I'm actually gonna use that. And then the cardboard box. We still have a little bit of space here too that we can do something with. And again, once we get some of the fishing tourney items, I think that we'll we'll do a little better filling in some of these empty spots. I'm gonna put another one of those little wooden, there we go, on the ground there. I like those. 
And also I added in this path. I almost made this part of the path, like all this stone stuff. But my problem with paths like that is when you have these long spaces that are just long and straight like this, and it, I mean, it really has to be because that's where the river is and it has to go by there. It, it starts looking super repetitive. So at least with the dirt path, we can dot these little rocks in here randomly and we can add some weeds or whatever else if we want to later. But yeah, so coming down here, we gave Pashmina a little pansy <laughs> garden, that which uh, Punchy is very much enjoying right now. We gave Pashmina this little pansy garden in her backyard there, just to finish off her little spot here. And she did get an extra week as Villager of the Week, which by the way, Villager of the Week vote this week is gonna be back to who has not gotten a vacation home yet so that is going to be hans goose caroline and punchy yeah hans goose caroline and punchy those are the four that haven't got a vacation home yet and of course punchy's brand new so he wouldn't have but those are going to be your choices for villager of the week this week uh if you want to choose punchy because he's taking up residence as the fishing teacher on the island, if you want to choose Caroline because she matches the tie-dye so well, if you want to choose Hans because he's just up there doing the taxes and making the smoothies, or Goose because he's over there doing the patrol jogs and keeping the island safe. And I just killed that blossom, didn't I? Darn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Before we forget, we're going to go buy that plot from Tom Nook and get static in here. because we need a little cranky pants villager on the islands and he's purple and we're avoiding work i don't know <laughs> let's talk infrastructure tom nook sell some land this will be our last plot oh good thing we have ten thousand bells in our pocket we sure will Okay, hand over the housing kit. Considering our island population and the land we have available, I do believe this will be our last plot. I hope you're waiting with bated breath to see who chooses the land you've worked so hard to set up. Actually, I'm not because I already know who we're going to invite. <laughs> it's a little purple squirrel. I have a thing for squirrels, too. Not real life squirrels, but squirrels in this game. Like my very favoriteest villager of all ever is Nibbles with her giant eyes. <laughs> She's the best. Ooh, missed. No, come back. <laughs> come back. I'm surprised it hasn't disappeared yet. Is it gonna come back over here? No, every time I come over here, it starts going the other way. All right, you're, you're hurting my feelings, little cherry blossom. Now we're gonna come over here and it's gonna go to the other side. See? So rude. It just doesn't wanna be caught. There we go, <laughs> we got it. We got it, okay. Superhero at work there. Okay, so now we just, we gotta, we just gotta stick it somewhere. So because we're going to the left of the island first, we're gonna stick the house plot over here on the right somewhere. Since that is what we'll be doing last and there's a good chance it'll be moved before we get to where it is. Let's find a spot. Maybe we can put it where Pashmina used to be. We might have to clear some space because I put a bunch of trees in. I think it'll probably fit right here. We only have to take one tree out. Oh, or two if you count this little one. All right, we're gonna need some cherries though because I'm not gonna chop it down. You guys thought I was gonna forget about static, didn't you? On a normal day, <laughs> I probably would have. But today is not a normal day. 
thanks to Lucky and the superhero mask that he gave us. <laughs> we have the superpower of memory. Woo! Okay, now I'm gonna move this bush too because I feel like that's gonna be in the way. I don't know, it's probably not. All right, let's put the house right here. Oh, that's not where I was thinking. Maybe one space to the right. And may um, could be back a little too. Perfect! This is the spot. Okay, I'm gonna put this bush back down. Oops. And we're gonna replant this money tree. Oh, it was a nursery money tree. It was probably just the one that I dug up today, as a matter of fact, if it was that tiny. Wait a minute, wasn't there another nursery tree in here? Probably this one. Whoops, that's not a tree. <laughs> what, wait, what's this tree then? How many trees do I have in my pocket? Oh yeah, that's the one we had to dig up because it was in the way of the house. Well, you know what? I think Mary wants a tree, so we're gonna give her this one because I can get lots of trees in my pocket without trying very hard if I wanted to. Okay, so we need to go talk to Static again. And tell him what a wonderful place this is to be and say, little purple squirrel, move in here with me. Look at him, he's so cute. How can you be cranky when you're so cute? How about we play a game? Well, I mean, if you insist, I was just going to ask you to move in here, that's all. No, we know the rules. We just we just played this, dude. You don't remember? I guess I have the superpower of memory today. Okay, we're, we're going with black because it was red last time. Ha, we got it. Holy moly, a spade! Black is right! Well, we didn't necessarily want that t-shirt either, but we do like being right. I lost this time, but I still had fun. I'll win next time, though. Okay, how about you move in here? Because there's an empty plot. Camping with a whole mess of folks is okay. You can make it a social event if you wanna. Me? I kind of like the solitary camping experience. That's more my style. I used to camp a lot when I was just a kiddo. I remember singing songs around the campfire at night and staring at the flames until I got drowsy. It's roughing it compared to home, but that's part of the charm of camping. Okay, are you going to make this hard for us? You know I've camped in lots of different places, but this island takes the cake. I should move here. Yeah, you should. You serious, kiddo? Hmm, this ain't the kind of move I can just rush into all willy-nilly. Yes, you can. You totally can. Let's play a game for it. Oh, no. You win, I'll go ahead and move. Come on, it'll be an easy game, and it should be a fun way to help me decide. All right, let's do it. We don't have a choice. That's the spirit. Come on, Static. Make it an easy one. Oh, man. Should we go back to red? I think it's going to be black again. Yes! Holy moly, a club! Black is right, you're the winner! I have no excuses, you're the better player. Well, just the same, it was a lot of fun competing against you. So guess my next step's talking to resident services about my big move. Do it. Here's the lowdown, kiddo. I talked to your resident services folks to ask about moving in. And I can do it! So write it down in permanent ink. I'm officially a resident of Larkshire. Yay! <laughs> Oops, better properly introduce myself then. I'm static. You're Carolee, was it? Guess you'll be seeing a whole lot more of me. I'm so excited! Yay! <laughs> He's so cute. Super excited, super duper excited. Okay, <laughs> let's stop running in circles. Did we put down everything we had for Punchy's house now that we're done being distracted by being distracted by being distracted? Let's go, <laughs> let's go take a look. I just love running through this part of the island now that part of it is done. It's just like so nice. Even this little wild woods area just looks so nice. It's just fun to see something done. <laughs> Francine, hello. 
I think every single- we gotta figure out like how to do something with this little area too. I guess the the bridge is still a work in progress here. We we're still figuring that out. I do kind of like the archway. Not not a hundred percent convinced, but I kind of like it. Oh, we need to get that other. Oh no no no! <laughs> Storage sheds over here now. We need to get that other grass standy and customize it because I think it's in the winter color right now. But I think we've done some good progress on Punchy's little Acre 5 here, which was, yes, according to our little charts, a villager home and Nook Miles fencing. And my personal way of doing that is to choose Nook Miles fencing that was in available in Nooks that day that we chose the numbers. So uh, our two choices were Corral Fence and the simple fence. So we chose a simple fence because it just seemed to work better with Punchy's house. Wait a minute, did I not have an extra one of those? I thought I had another grass standee. Am I just not seeing it because it's white? There it is, okay. So let's customize it. And if you saw anything else in the cabinet there that looks like it needs to go in Punchy's acre, let me know. We're doing the spring green for now. Might have to make some adjustments when we get to summer. What was this? The shuffle, right? Yeah, I decided not to use that. And then the other one is the wreath that we're going to give him for his door. As soon as we're allowed to give him gifts. Oh, you know what he needs here? He needs a camping lantern. I wonder if we have one of those. Ooh, cherry blossom petal. Maybe this is like hunting eggs. <laughs> we just have to stop every once in a while and grab one of these petals. Only I was a lot better at getting the eggs than I am these things. Um, okay, so maybe we put the other one on this side of the path. Oh, definitely not in line with the, the one. <laughs> Don't want to do that. How about right there? That's pretty good, isn't it? Do we want to bring it one? Hey, stop that. <laughs> Put that away. One more space over, maybe? Nope, I liked it up there. Isn't it crazy how like one little up and to the right can make so much difference? Or maybe it only makes a difference to me. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think we're gonna lay down a couple of our little passports. <laughs> a couple of our little weeds here. It'll be fun. I, I'm not gonna go into construction mode right now just for that. Put one up here. Put one here. And then maybe here. I don't know. That doesn't seem to work quite right in my head, but I'm putting it there. <laughs> okay. It, I think it's because there's an even number and I feel like odd numbers look better. So we're going to throw one more. You ever have something like that that sticks in your head? Like a flower arranger told me that one time. It's like, that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. So now every time I decorate something, you see how I've got three of the fake grass. I've got five of that pattern. I've got three of this pattern. I just, I tend to go with odd numbers because they told me that and I don't know, I just believed it. And <laughs> I still believe it. Okay, so here we go. Punchy's got a little store. People can fill up their little bait buckets. People can get their snacks for sitting out here fishing and if they need a fishing lesson they can just talk to Punchy and you know what maybe what we need to put right here is some kind of little table situation this tree's kind of in the way it may have to go um, but we could put a little table for people to come sit for the fish fry the Friday fish fry so we might work on that is this tree because this tree yeah it's in Punchy's acre it's not in Pajmina's acre. So we could take this one out or either replace it with a smaller one so that we could see a table over here. And we could do something big like the log 
the log table and put a couple benches on either side. Oh, but also, while I'm thinking about it, actually, on this side of the river, I don't know why I ran all the way down here to go over, <laughs> but on this side of the river, this tiny little corner is also part of Punchy's Acre. So we got to decorate this too, actually. So let's put a couple of these weeds down here. And by a couple, I mean three. <laughs> So we've got one cedar tree here, which I think is probably just fine. We're going to leave it. And I'll probably put one of these here. And then this wild log bench, I think. Yeah, just like right there. Another little fishing spot. You just sit and watch the river go by. Super cool. What else do we have in our pocket here? Some log stakes, a shopping basket. I guess that needs to go over in the shopping area. Uh, there's a folding chair too, which we could maybe put down over here. Yeah, okay. Now, it, now it's a meetup spot. <laughs> now it's a meetup spot. I'm gonna push that actually to the back a little bit. No, no, I don't like that. But we have to we have to push it back or something because you won't be able to get through there otherwise. And we gotta have people getting through there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Villagers can walk through there, we can walk through there. Cool. Anything else good? The sloppy table I don't think will go over here. But again, we'll be able to add a few things to spruce it up a little more once we get the fishing tourney items. Or maybe I'm thinking that there's more of those that we'll be able to use than I think there are. Than there actually are. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna pick up all these super tall weeds because that just bothers me. <laughs> we'll put down, whoops, no. I'm gonna hit the right button one of these times. Okay, we're just gonna put down a couple little weeds over here to let them grow up a little bit more because this side of the river is a little bit wilder than Punchy's side over there. So it can be a little more grown up, but we might actually put some more weeds in over here too. Because, you know, it's just a chill little fishing area. But I think this has turned out pretty well. I'm excited. A little spot for Punchy. And he's teaching everybody to fish. Can you just imagine him teaching like Francine how to fish? <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. He's over here with Francine and Caroline and Mary and he's like okay here's how you... <laughs> I just think it would be so fun. And there's lots of different little spots for you to just sit and enjoy the water or enjoy watching other people take lessons. Yeah, and we're definitely going to get um, a table in here for the fish fry nights. Yeah, I'm excited. I like this. I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited about the fishing tourney now. We're definitely going to do that. And we'll just extend this path. I'll probably go ahead and extend it down here. It's going to have to go down here. But we don't know what's going in Acre 6 yet, so it'll be really interesting to see because Acre 6 has the big hill there, which means we're going to have to move our house probably. Actually, you know what? We should just go ahead and see what's going to be there. So let's bring up our charts. Charts. We have charts. <laughs> okay, it's going to be Acre 6. And Acre 6 is 2i. 2 is a bridge. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, well, there might actually be some river in that acre now, so that might work. Okay, so two is a bridge and I is in-game pathing, which is not a problem because we'll just extend we'll just extend the path that's here. But that means that there's not going to be a building in this acre, so we got to figure out what to do with all that big space up there. Okay, so we actually do have fair amount of river here. Is there a spot already that works for a bridge? So the end of the acre is here. So it pretty much goes up to up to there. I don't know if we'll be able to get a bridge in right here. We can try. 
If not, we may have to make a small adjustment. And we did say that, you know, that might have to happen at some point. The minimalist terraforming that we can possibly do, which we already dug a hole, so we're, we're in it. But <laughs> um, there is not enough space for a bridge here unless we... Yeah, we're going to have to do something with like this little square right here. It's to either make the bridge diagonal or straight. So that's what we'll be working on for the next acre. And then we just got to figure out what to put there because uh, a bridge and in-game pathing is all it's telling us. So we got a whole acre to fill up with whatever we want, which will be fun. I kind of like this stump here too. Might leave that there. Depends on what goes on this side of the border. Okay. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I think we made some good progress in our acre five. I would even call it nearly done. We gotta wait for that fishing tourney to get it 100% done. But yeah, Punchy's got a spot now and we have a new resident, our 10th resident, which is super exciting. So thank you guys so much for joining me for our little adventures today. I really appreciate you taking the time to spend with me here in Larkshire. Don't forget to click the like button on your way out. And if you're enjoying this series, make sure you're subscribed as well so you can join us for the next one and find out what we do in Acre 6. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.